Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I'm out here with some of the team in Holland, a, a fascinating trip. This business that we're at today is producing microgreens for the gastro hotel sector, effectively top end, but my goodness, the focus on health is extraordinary and it's been amazing to see. It's not vertical farming, it's within a vertical structure, but actually sort of horizontal farming. And we're now off to see a, a massively innovative dairy business. But I can't tell you, you all have seen all the challenges with Dutch uh, farmers protesting. You know, they are facing into something that is really quite unbelievable. So in the last uh, 20 years, we've seen 67% reduction in nitrogen. The ask now is for a further 50% out of existing production. So that is massive and it will mean many farmers will not be farming in future here. But back at home, obviously huge implications for the dry weather. The National Drought Group met so much media interest. I was on World at One. Tom Bradshaw, who leads on this issue, has done a huge amount of media uh, and growing interest and will continue to keep you updated on that. And of course, it's all about the leadership. I've written a piece for the Daily Mail, making it very clear uh, as to what our industry needs, which really is the same focus on food production as we have on the environment. We're asking for a statutory underpinning of current levels of food production and across all departments, making sure that there is full impact assessment of future regulations and policies coming in. So we're asking Rishi Sunak and Liz Trust for our hustings on food and farming. I hope they will commit to it. It'll be telling either way whether they do or they don't, but we will still be asking them for that and we'll be allowing you, our members, hopefully to contribute and challenge them on what their plans are for the future. So as ever, a whirlwind trip through. Please do take care, look after yourselves, and I really look forward to speaking to you again next week.